We're here at Scott Bennett Engineering in Northampton and for the past three years, Rob here has invested in a brand new machine. And every single year, you've gone for a Nakamura. Why is that? Well, we, we bought our first one, as you say, about three years ago. And I was really impressed with the quality, the build, and the name that Nakamura had. And it was our, our first foray into uh, buying from ETG. And I've been very impressed with what I've seen so far. So what is it about these machines that you're after? And what is the work that you're putting onto them? What we've tried to do is get away from the old two-axis lays that we used to have and by buying the Nakamura's we've allowed to give us multi-axis lays which gives us a chance of doing more machining, more operations on parts that might have taken two or three machines previously. So how are your staff finding the machines? Well, there was a bit of trepidation when they first came in but um, with the training and getting the use to the machines they've, uh, they're really impressed with them. And the reliability of these machines, how are you finding that? Yeah, very good. We've had the odd trouble, the odd problem that uh, all machine tools have, but uh, ETG have been very good at uh, getting back and uh, getting them up and going again. So what are the features on the machines that you like and that impresses you? I like the fact that they've got full Y axis, plus or minus 41 mil gives us extra machining capabilities. The bar feed, uh, we can get 65 mil bar, we used to have 50 mil bar machines, so it's allowed us to machine bigger bar. And um, I like the fact we can run lights out at night as well. So of course the machine we're standing in front of is your latest purchase. Why did you choose this particular model? The reason, Lindsay, if you look around, we're quite tight for space. So I was replacing an old two axis lathe and I needed a small footprint. I couldn't get the larger twin spindle AS200s that we've already bought, but I got the single spindle AS200 because I knew it would give me extra capabilities with a smaller footprint and I could squeeze it in. That was the reason. With all the other brands out there, what is it that is so unique about these? Many, many years ago, we used to do a quite tight limit job for a prospective customer that um, he kept chucking it to work at us, but we couldn't quite meet his commitments. And I went to his, one of his other suppliers. They had a Nakamura tone and I always wanted to get a machine from that day. And I thought, when I get the chance, I'm going to buy one. And that's what I've done. Now I've got three, so I'm chuffed <laughs> to bits. Isn't that funny? We talk about cars in, a, in the same manner, yeah. and we do it with machine tools. Now, you've got a part here. Um, what tolerances are you working at on these machines? It's not particularly tight tolerance or anything, but what it is is it's got a couple of extra operations that previously we had to do on two or three machines. But now we can do it all in one hit with a little deburr on the back. This one's been tin plated, but with the, uh, the extra um, milled and tapped side holes, we can do it on this in one hit now. And what industries are you serving here, Rob? Ooh, plenty, of, plenty of industries, agriculture, aerial antennas, catering business, um, shock absorbers in the motorcycle industry. A huge Very, variety. Yeah, varied. And also, last question, materials. What? materials are these machines capable of? They, they can deal with all the tough materials um, but you just have to be very careful with your tooling. Tooling is the key. Get the right tooling, you should cut anything on these. So you've got one, two, three Nakamuras. Going forward what are your future plans? Well I need, I need a bigger factory actually. <laughs> um, really it's replacing machines, old machines for new with extra capability, extra machining, give us that competitive edge. That's the key. And one last question, I know I promised the other one was, this machine, would you recommend it to other people and why? I would. Um, you pay a little bit more for it, but that's the old adage in life, you pay for what you get. And I think with these Nakamura tones, you get a really good machine.